you. Hey, if you can't make it to the Kentucky Derby this year, do not worry. We have you covered. A fantastic event with an even better cause, Juleps at the Jones. And here with us this morning, we have David Blaze, a board member for Oklahoma Autism Center Foundation. Good morning, sir. Good morning. And might I say, you look quite dapper. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Fitting for the event, it that is. is for sure. And I'm excited. I'll be uh, there judging the hats and the outfits that come through. That's right. Tell us what I've signed up for and what other people are signing up for if they come. Well, absolutely. And actually, in honor of that, we would like to give you a little something <gasps> this morning if we could. Did you bring me a hat? Uh, a few to choose from. We have three. Yes, it matches my outfit. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, so we're judging hats. You are judging hats. Okay. That one is oh, I like nice. It. It's a little safe though. We, I mean, <laughs> we, we want to go big. Um, yeah, I'm absolutely. I'm just going to keep this on. Yeah, but just tell us the cause and, and everything this stands for. Sure, the Oklahoma Autism Center Foundation. Um, really excited to partner with the Jones Assembly uh, for this event, Juleps at the Jones. Um, it's going to be obviously on May 5th for the Kentucky Derby from okay. 3 to 7. It's going to be on the patio at the Jones Assembly. Um, and what a perfect place to have it too. It's, it's a wonderful venue. Uh, we like going there and we're really excited uh, that they're um, helping us out and, and doing this for us. So. And all the proceeds will go to your cause. And tell us exactly you know, what the foundation does and who exactly this money would help. Sure, yeah. Um, so the Oklahoma Autism Center is a statewide autism program. Um, it provides early access to screenings for um, young children who are at risk for autism. Um, it also provides resources um, for those families, those children. Um, they also have sites, like I said, it's statewide, so they also have sites okay. all around where um, children can come who are on the spectrum and they get one-on-one -on -one treatment two days a week, and then the other two days a week, they actually are integrated with their typical peers um, in a Mother's Day out setting. So, um, and then after that, to we're talking a lot about teachers lately, mm -hmm. um, as a way to support teachers, the Oklahoma Autism Center will actually go out throughout the state if there are teachers who have questions or need some help when they are working with a child on the spectrum. Um, so the it's, resource. Yeah, we're yeah. the resource for them, and uh, it's just a wonderful way um, you know, to help those teachers out, uh, as well as so many families across our state um, dealing with autism. Yeah, I know that'll go a long way for sure. So, yeah. you know, number one reason why pe people should come out to this, it helps a lot of families. Right. Okay, so we get there to the Jones right. on May 5th, and you know, what happens from there? Okay, well, we've got uh, DJ Carte Blanche is going to be playing okay. all day long. Um, we've got Mark Rogers, a former KOCO alum, uh, yep. is going to be our MC. And um, we're going to have raffles. There are vendors. We've got uh, Kendra Scott's going to be there. Blink some vintage jewelry eyewear, for the ladies. Right. Okay. We're, we've got um, stash apparel and gifts from Tulsa is coming down. Um, Mother's Day is the next weekend, so it's a great time to shop. Uh, get your shopping done while having a good time. Yeah, so, hint, hint, if you, right, if you haven't exactly. done that yet. And, okay, and tell me about ticket cost. What does it cost to go? Not much. Tickets are only $20. You can get them at ticketfly.com. Just search the Jones, or the, excuse me, the Jones Assembly or Juleps at the Jones. Um, and with that, you're going to get a drink ticket um, for a uh, Woodward, Woodford Reserve uh, Mint Julep or there'll be Bitter Sisters beer and also a Stella Artois, so. Yeah, no shortage of refreshments there at the Jones that right. day. And uh, how are, I mean, it seems like an obvious question, but does everyone need to dress up like this or you're just encouraged to? You're not required to, but we certainly encourage it. Yeah, more fun that tell. way. Right, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Uh, anything else that you'd like to say if, you know, because I'd imagine May 5th, there's probably a lot going on, Cinco de Mayo. Just mm. any last messages as to why to choose this event over others? Well, uh, honestly, it's a, it's a first annual event. The Jones Assembly, in my opinion, is the place to be. So uh, I really don't know why you'd want to go anywhere else. All right. Well, David, thank you so much. Thank you, Marky. Thank you for the hat. Absolutely. I've never had one this big before. <laughs> so thank you, you so look much. Great. I will see you May 5th, and great. hopefully, all of you at home too. KCO 5 News at 9 o'clock continues right after this break.